The winning vote this week for Driver of the Week went to that car number 27 there, one of our Bomber A competitors, one of our top rookie competitors this year. This is C.J. Creech in car number 27. Give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. He won it by the narrow margin of one vote today. It was that close. We got a whole lot of votes and had to count them twice just to make sure. But C.J. Creech, one of our top Bomber A drivers, probably going to be in contention to win the Bomber Bowl here tonight as they will have a two-segment race we're going to give them points. Whoever has the lowest total at the end of the night is going to be the winner. Will it be CJ? We don't know, but he's our driver of the week. Ladies and gentlemen, give him a round of applause one more time. CJ Creech, your driver of the week. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Final. First green flag of the night is ready to fly. Robinson with a 17. Try to get this E-Race in the book. Pace car peeling off the speedway. Control car, Michael Martin down the inside to race the leader. Green flag. Two-H, Matt Jarrett again from the back of the field. Up to fifth. So 
in the series. The 11's coming to pit road. Now remember, the 44, that's a ghost car. It's just uh, a shakedown. Just getting some laps in. Well, Tom Toronto, your point leader with Toby Smith, the winner last time out here. He's going to his green flag. Toby Smith, the 44, takes over the top spot as they go to Here comes the 44. This time able to get by a little bit easier. My goodness. All right, it's under Dodge American Auto Pace Car. We're going to pull off the speedway. Let's see if we can get this thing in the book. Six to go. Facebook post that these guys were at a hundred lapper and it threw everybody off their off their toes. It was a funny joke though. Here we go. Tom Toronto, Toby Smith once again. Now Toby Smith, your leader on the outside. He chose the outside. So correction on the 81. It's actually Jim's that were in the 81 tonight. Jared on the sheets. Actually, Jim behind the wheel. We'll get that right for the feature. These guys swap cars from time to time. Mr. Furhat getting put back to blue. Uh, so that group of four, you know, that group of five, really, really good drivers. It'll be an interesting uh, feature event to see who gets away with the win. Keep around the 13, Kelly Jarrett last year. So it's Tom Toronto in the 19th. Driving for Ron Hess here tonight. Trying to stay up in the points race. Toby Smith comes by to the road. Battle for third. Six to one car. Christopher Hatton getting down on the inside. are coming up next, so we don't even need to clean up the racetrack. No, I'm just kidding. If there's any fluid down, they will clean up the racetrack. Um, 
So I guess the pace car thinks we're going racing, but there it is. The green flag is out. And there's the yellow. That wasn't going to fly. I didn't get a chance to give a lineup yet because I'm up here blabbing my mouth. No, they were not lined up and ready to go anyway. So let me give you a lineup here. I'm, I, I'm done talking. A new car tonight. That is Anthony Lewis. Here we go. Green flag is in the air. So kind of a better start. We're going to let that one fly. So keep your eye on the 97. That's the wild card tonight in that crown pick. First time out for Anthony Lewis. And about popped the wall off turn number two. Ben Say in the Mustang. Mustang up front. Ben doing double duty tonight. He's going to be in the Bonneray Bomber Bowl later. Ben Say leads out. He's going because here comes the man with a bullseye on his neck. Shane Satoris, the pizza man. John Gross, the pool boy, losing a spot there to the pizza man. Ben, what do you say, say, showing the way. But it's car number 69, Shane Satoris, closing the gap now. As they run for Shane Satoris. And I think Shane Satoris. Oh, spinning around goes Dom in turn number. What is up with turn one today? We'll see if the 21 can refire. And you watch. Now it'll go. The magic cure is usually the yellow flag. So another self spin Dom around in turn one. in their race tonight. They'll score points at the end of segment one. One point to the winner. Go one point up through the field. One point to the winner of segment two, up through the field. Whoever has the lowest total at the end of the two races is your winner, simple as that. Here we go. Green flag, ready to fly. Six to go here in the heat race for the Bombers. And it shoots the turns. Shane Satoris in the 69, out in front. $300 for somebody to come out and beat him tonight. That's some good money for these type of cars. And I think what everybody's doing is waiting for the last race of the season, but I, I hope they keep holding those cars and coming out when they're in the race of the season. won't be eligible for the guys who don't have to be on them. All ideas to support the class. So John Gross, the pool boy, into the second spot around Ben Say. Anthony Lewis again flirting with a wall off turn number two. First time out for that car. Look at Ben Say. Uh oh, oh, he almost threw it away over there in turns three and four. He's getting a bit comfortable. And about not too comfortable there. Shane Satoris is your race leader by quite a ways over John Gross in 93. That's kind of the way it's been all year long. Seven just knocked the wall down off to number two. He'd been trying and trying, and he got it big time that time. Every lap, he got closer and closer, and he finally found it. Oh, Ben Say is around in turn one and two. Yellow's out. So we got debris on the racetrack. We got a car dead in the water in three and four, and we got one. We got one half sideways and one and two, and yellow's out with five complete. So Ben Say went and wrecked himself, kind of, sort of. It's not going to cost him anything. He's still in third. Now there's the 97. I hope they can get that thing fixed for the feature event later on. After this, we're going into our round of features. Bomberay segment one up next. Bomberay Bomber Bowl segment number one. Doing things milk bowl style here tonight. Green flag is out. For the pizza man and the pool boy. Green is out. Next time by, folks, it'll be two laps to go. The mercy flag is just around the corner. So the pizza man, Shane Satoris, showing the way. Pool boy, John Gross, one of number 93. And 
Shane Sator is famous for running the pizza sign on the roof of many of his race cars out here. We need a fun nickname for Ben Say. I'll think of one for next time. And Maureen Dom, she don't give a Dom that she don't have a nickname. So Shane Satoris in the 69, coming to the white flag in the battle for second heat up. What do you say? You're going to That little Mustang running pretty well here tonight. They've struggled with that car, but they have not quit, and he's going for second on the second place point, man. Here's the race, folks. As usual, pay no attention to the pizza man. So Shane Satoris. Gonna come off the corner and win the heat, but here's the real race. On the bottom, it's Ben Say the Mustang. John Rose, the pool boy on the outside. It's a drag race. Oh, I think by a bump of bar, it was a 93. I think the pool boy got him by a nose, and there's not even a nose on that car. So Shane Satoris, the winner. John Gross comes home in second. Third will be Ben Say, and Maureen Dom rounds out your field.